What's going on, E Nation fans? This is the Impress 48 here. Welcome back to another diecast video. And today, guess what, folks? I have yet another diecast haul to show. And guess what? Y'all read the title right. This is a 2009 Daytona 500 set, and there are seven 164s which is like the Daytona 500 wave from Winter Circle. And oh my goodness, I can't wait to show you guys. I got it today. I uh, had a friend, once again, give me these die casts. And I just got to say, my goodness, they're wonderful. I just love it. it. It means a lot to me because, number one, uh, I got into, I officially got into NASCAR in middle of the 2009 and sadly, I did not see the 2009 Daytona 500. Uh, that was not the first 500 ever I ever saw. But number two, it is the Daytona 500 set. And you guys know how I am about the 500? Daytona 500. Mm, one of my all-time all favorite race. I know the Indy 500 is tomorrow, but like, I got these Daytona 500 sets. So yeah, can't wait to show you guys. And with that being said... Here we go. So first up, here we got Mark Martin's 2009 uh, Kellogg's Car Quest uh, Chevy Iron Plot SS. And what I just found out is that you can actually like pull this. Uh, you can pull this to open the package. All right, but it's hard to do. Crap, hold on. I tried to figure this out earlier. Hang on. Okay, there we go. Take notes, green light. This is how... This should be the easier way to open up IndyCar 164. So, yeah, hopefully, like, when I hang these up on the wall or somewhere, the car doesn't, like, fall off. I think it'll be fine. Almost there. All right. Ooh. New car smell, and this is uh, the Mark Martin car right here. It's out of focus. Come on, focus. It's not focusing. It's not focusing. Hold on. I don't know. I'll, I'll, I'll show it later. Also, the hood's magnetic. And the next car, we got Tony Stewart's 2009. Office Depot, Old Spice, Chevy Ampla SS. This is when uh, Stewart Haas Racing was first born. This is when Tony Stewart became a team owner. And let's open this up. Hang on, let me see how I can open it. Okay, there we go. Sorry you had to see that, but I just wanted to like find a way to open this. this also making sure the car doesn't fly off and all that stuff i know i'll get a mess to clean after oh crap look what i did here um <laughs> all right now let's see all right so here is the car itself yeah it's gonna be out of focus when i show it in this view but i will show all these die casts at the end of the video so here's tony's car Next up, it is the 2009 Daytona 500 champion, Matt Kenseth's 2009 DeWalt Ford Fusion from Ross Fenway Racing. And this is when Kenseth got his first 500 win from a range shown event. And yeah, there are mixed opinions about how Kenseth won the race to this day from NASCAR's calls. So, yep. look at Kenseth's car and honestly this is one of my all-time favorite Matt Kenseth paint schemes I don't know why it's just amazing on oh, crap but unfortunately there's a defect on this car some chips uh, it's not too bad but, yeah, but the like the the Ford front bumper thing is like out of place that's gonna bother me for a long time oh no Actually, the headlights, it's like this part right here is like tilted. 
it's like tilted like this, but crooked. That's gonna bother me for, for a while. All right. <laughs> All right, so next up, it is my second. Oh, I forgot to mention Mark Martin's my all third all-time favorite NASCAR driver. And my second all-time favorite driver, Jeff Goins, 2009. Oh, actually, I do have this car. I do have the 2009 car, but it was like a different, I don't know. Not different, hold on. Like, I do, I, I have this too. So, I don't know what I'm going to do with the loose ones. So, but yeah, this is Jeff Goins, 2009, DuPont. Um, Ampli SS. And I don't think, uh, let me see if I, if I want to open this up or not. Uh, maybe I will, like, after cutting out this video. Next up, my all-time favorite NASCAR driver, Jimmy Johnson. This is Jimmy Johnson's 2009 Lowe's, uh, Chevy Ampli SS. Now let's open this bad boy up. Chase Elliott did a throwback to Jimmy's car from this one so let's see if i can get uh chief elliott's uh, throwback in the future alongside with boom and Byron, and you know the john throwback from last year and here we are so here is jimmy's car and man oh man oh she's a beauty wow oh no i don't know what happened here yeah, I know it's out of focus. I'm sorry. Like you'll you'll get a closer look on this soon. But yeah, look at this. It's just like this part. Of, like I don't know what happened. The gray is just not there. Like is it chipped off or something? I don't know. Wow. Well, oh, there's some chips here too. So I'm assuming like winter circles did some messes mess ups before. But I don't know. Anyway, so. Next up, this is Dale Earnhardt Jr.'s 2009 Amp Energy Mountain Dew Chevy Ampla. And this is like his worst season ever. I hate to see it. But, of course, this guy is still cool. Oh my god, I almost bent this. Now, how can I open this up? Uh, Alright, here we go. It took me a while to, like, find a way. Sorry if I'm using my mouth. I had to. Like, if I can't open it, like, whatever way, I had to, like, do that. All right. Oh, shit. Oh, I'm not, I'm trying, I'm not, I'm not trying to break this part. Hold on. I almost ripped off this part. Oh, shit. Hold on. Oh, crap getting worse hang on all right so i have to use like my little scissors to make sure like the package in general doesn't cut off so yeah i use my little eyebrow cutters but yeah this is junior's car honestly very cool car i do have the 2008 version and let's see what's the difference between the 2008 car and 2009 car mm. Hmm, yeah, it looks like the livery design is still the same thing. But, of course, the roof is different. Yeah, I'm pretty sure, like, this is the same scheme. But, there's some differences. So, yep. I can't do a backflip, but I do have this car. Best for last. Last, but certainly not least. This is Carl Edwards 2009 Affleck. Ford Fusion, oh my god, I'm like, yes. Ford Fusion, Ross Fenway Racing, and oh man, of course, who doesn't love the Affleck car? My goodness, I, I'm so happy I grew up with this car. Let's open this up. Alright, let's hope, hopefully I can do a better job with this uh, packaging on Carl than Junior's. And unfortunately, Carl had a winless season back in... 2009 in the cup series i don't know if it was like a bad season i don't remember but i know like he was winless that year in cup but of course this scheme is still beautiful and iconic and still love to this day oh come on Ooh. man i have a i got a big mess here on my computer desk 
on my desktop. But here we are. Here is Carl Edwards' car. I love your new car smell. So this is Carl Edwards' car, my goodness. So beautiful. So because I because when I showed you guys the cars, they were out of focus, I will give you guys a close-up like I promised. So stay tuned. All right, here we are. Here are the closer looks of the 2009, of the uh, seven of the 2009 Daytona 500 164s. Once again, here you got Mark Martin, Tony Stewart, and Matt Kenseth. This is what I was talking about. Jeff Gordon. Yes, I did decide to open this car up again. Good, I want to. This is Jimmy Johnson's car. Dale Jr.'s car. Unfortunately, this does. This has like a uh, suspension issues. So yeah, and Carl Edwards. So yeah, very, very cool car. And fun fact, the Hendrick cars was the, uh, uh, this is like their 25th anniversary of being a NASCAR team. So, hey, another special thing. And guess what? I have all the 2009 Hendrick Motorsports primary cars. So, yes, I just want to give a shout out to Jacob once again for getting me these cars. I forgot what website it was, but like, I will send it in the link in the description below if I do find it. So... Yeah, very awesome. More CLTs. You, you love to see it. You love to see it. And I'm sure there'll be more diecasts on the way once again. So, yeah, stay tuned. So, once again, you got Mark Martin, Tony Stewart, Matt Kenseth, Jeff Gordon, Jimmy Johnson, Dale Hunter Jr., and Carl Edwards. And would you excuse me, uh, before I get ready for ARCA reactions, no, I did not do Xfinity reactions. I did not feel like watching that race. Would you excuse me, before I get ready for ARCA, I gotta... Big mess to clean. Yep. So yeah. With that being said, I want to say thank you guys so much for watching this video. Comment, like, and subscribe for more content. Thank you, Jacob, once again for giving me these diecasts. Uh, follow my social accounts. Follow Jacob once again on my uh, social accounts and his Instagram. Don't forget to turn on my YouTube notification for more content. Thank you guys so much for supporting E Nation. This is Ian Press 48 signing off. Goodbye, everybody. I'm trying to decide where do I put these die casts. I don't know if I should hang it up, put it somewhere. I don't know what to do, but I just realized something. All of these drivers, they've retired from NASCAR. I'm old as hell.